Hi everyone, uh, this is the second video of GLTF uh, V2 export. Uh, in this video we will talk about uh, GLTF material shader and um, new image effects, uh, image map effects. Uh, GLTF material shader has been applied to advanced viewport and uh, applied to the preview render uh, so, so we can uh, see um, GLTF um, shaders uh, being applied uh, dynamically. Um, we have a few new uh, GLTF uh, image effects. Uh, so we have um, GLTF ambient occlusion, base color, emission, metallic, normal, e roughness image maps. First off, uh, is a, it's a mission, uh, GLTF emission image effect. Uh, it uses um, RGB uh, to display um, uh, the, the display emission on the surface of the map. Um, it also uses um, emissive color uh, to to choose uh, which emissive color will it be and uh, emissive level uh, to, to choose intensity of the emissive color. Uh, next up is ambient occlusion. Um, ambient occlusion uh, along with uh, GLTF roughness and GLTF metallic uses only one image map uh, for its textures. Um, GeoGLTF ambient occlusion uh, uses a red channel um, Roughness uses a green channel and metallic uses a blue channel. Um, so, um, ambient occlusion. Um, the, this part of the mesh has been uh, has been painted red and it displays um, ambient occlusion levels. Um, next up is roughness. Uh, the, this this part of the mesh has been painted painted green and it displays. Um, an amount of roughness uh, that's the uh, that's that the green green color uh, intensity. Um, next up, uh, metallic. Um, this part has been has been painted uh, blue and it displays metallic properties for for this mesh. Um, it uses the intensity of the blue channel to to display uh, metallic surfaces. Uh, next up, uh, we have a transparent amount that was uh, that was in model before, uh, and we use it to display uh, transparency on our mesh. We actually um, use alpha alpha channel from from the GLTF base color image uh, clip, and um, uh, when when it's um, when it's in the in the default default or any uh, group. Uh, Material group that uh, that uh, the mesh uses, um, it um, it changes the blending mode uh, that uh, that enables uh, external GLTF viewers to uh, previewers uh, to uh, to display transparency. Uh, next up, uh, the GLTF base color uh, it basically uses RGB uh, to display color on, on the mesh surface. Um, we have um, several constants here in uh, GLTF material shader um, that we can use to uh, change uh, change um, intensities of image maps and uh, their um, their uh, emissive color and uh, so so we can so we can use ambient occlusion to to increase or ambient occlusion scale to increase or decrease. Uh, the ambient occlusion uh, image map effect in this mesh. Um, so we basically export export this uh, this scene as GLB, and it will um, it will pack um, pack the scene hierarchy. Um, it will pack um, uh, geometry data as binary. Um, uh, image uh, image maps. So each each of these uh, image maps um, will be basically bundled into into one uh, GLB file. Uh, so when we 
when we get to uh, Babylon GS uh, for as our favorite previewer, uh, we open only one only one GLB file basically, and it will display something like this. Uh, this is the emission map. Uh, this is the metallic metallic part of the of the mesh. Uh, this is the rough part, and we have some ambient occlusion here on the on the edges of this mesh, and of course the the base color being displayed, and and the transparency here. We can we can disable any of these maps by going in modo and um, just uh, disabling one of those, and then re-exporting it. Um, it should uh, if if we let's say leave just emission and transparent amount and uh, base color, we can export only those three, and we should see a difference in, in the mesh. As you can see, we, we don't have uh, we don't have the the ambient occlusion here, um, and we don't have uh, metallic properties and rough, roughness properties. So only only emission and base color. And that's it for uh, for the second video. I hope you enjoyed it.